Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day and today I will be talking about the truth on the Harry Kaber affair. First of all, I read this book in May and it took me a long time to read because it was 850 pages, so that, that, that's, that's a thing. I give this book 4.5 out of 5 stars. I didn't give it a full 5 stars just because of some points that I will be talking about. This book is set in the early... 2008 I think I'm not too sure and basically this is a story about a disappearing of a young girl of she was uh, 15 years old and named Nola Keller Kellerman Keller hmm Nola Kellergen sorry she disappears at 15 and she is found well dead uh, 30 years later in Ari Kaber's backyard. So of course Ari Kaber is the first to be uh, suspected and he is um, Well for now he is the main Murderer, I don't know how you call that and Marcus Goldman is the main character He was a student of Harry Kaber when he was in university and so he decides as an old friend Sake what? He decides to go back to this little town named Aurora and to go and try to help Harry Kaber to convince, well not to convince, but to find out why he was framed for this murder because he didn't do it and uh, well Marcus believes that Harry is telling the truth. Throughout the story you have so many lines like you have so many opportunities of everyone could have a reason to have killed Nola Kellergen. Keller Kellergen, sorry. So it's really hard to narrow the suspects down throughout the book. Uh, once you arrive through the middle a little bit, something starts happening and you focus more on, on some people. And of course, it's not the good people, not the good, it's not the right people because it's misleading. Marcus Goldman's character was interesting he was a very self-centered uh character he didn't really care for anything but harry kaber so it was interesting but i still wonder why he would help him because he is a very very selfish character he's very flawed when he was uh in his younger time he would only compete against people he knew he would beat so that he wouldn't, he would never lose, basically. So when he decides to take on the investigation, uh, I'm, I was kind of surprised because if he wasn't able to find the killer, it would mean that he would lose kind of the investigation. So it was really interesting to see him collaborate with a lot of people. He collaborated with, well, almost all of the town, but mainly one person which i don't remember his name but he's an uh, officer and they decide to kind of help each other to find out who is the real killer because they were a lot of corrupt people who pushed them into a certain direction which was not the right one so yeah all the twists and turns throughout the story were really really interesting it kept the story going so there would not be a lot of moments where you would just be bored so it would happen like once or twice but then it would pick it up again and something new would come up and yeah throughout the book Marcus Goldman grows into a more he's more conscious of the people who are around him so he cares a little bit more about their feelings and what happens after he uh, reveals that he's making a book about the affair, so yeah. I am now going to go into the spoilery part of the video because everything else that I have to say is about the book and I don't want to spoil anyone who hasn't read it or I don't want to spoil any the story. Because I don't know if it's a spoiler or not, so I'm not going to talk about it right now. I will just warn you, everyone, that if you have not read it, don't continue on the video because I will be talking a lot of spoilers. First of all, Harry and Nola's affair was kind of weird. Well, of course it's weird, but the way it was 
approach was weird because you learn that they were in love, but everybody else thinks that it's a really like disgusting affair between an old man and a young girl, but they were in love. So that's the part where it's really, really controversial, of course, but I feel like a lot of people missed the part where she wasn't doing that like by force. She was willingly going there every single day to just be there for him and help him throughout his uh, writing of the book. So I don't know. When Marcus discovers that Nola did some stuff <laughs> to other people, it 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 was weird, and you understand now that there are a lot of corrupt officers in the town so it's hard to understand why they would do such a thing it's it's people i guess i don't know the fact that it was mr pratt and the what's his face uh the other guy okay so chief pratt and travis don which was a lieutenant at the time were the ones who killed uh, nola and luther it's a great ending i love that it is it has such a twist to it and that luther was just kind of weird <laughs> at some point but he was also innocent and everybody believed that he was the one who killed nola and that was not true at all and it was broadcasted everywhere so even though we found the real killers luther's image was destroyed the minute they said that he was the one who killed Nola because they had some proof, but not enough. The only thing that bothered me was that Nola has some psychotic psychosis. I don't know how you say that, but she has a double personality disorder. And I am not against uh, representation of people who have problems like these, but the way it was represented was very, very strange because she was killed and it was very very sad and everybody uh, loved Nola throughout the book but then at some point when people discover that she's just weird <laughs> they just start not caring for her anymore and just because she had some problems in her life everybody started complaining that not that it was good that she was dead but people just stopped caring because she wasn't a normal girl and with a normal death. And it kind of irritated me that she had to have a disorder to justify the story. I don't know if I'm being clear about it, but I just don't like the fact that she had to have problems so that the story would just continue on because I feel like if the illness had been put away it wouldn't have changed much in the story my personal opinion but i feel like it wasn't necessary to the story because there were so many twists in th throughout the book so i don't think it was necessary to have that added on top of everything else even though i really liked the twists and plots that happened in the story it was a bit too long because you have about eight to ten suspects that could have killed Nola and had a motive to do it but at some point you just go back and forth between characters and it just was a little bit boring because you go to one and oh it's not him so we go to her and then she says something that make them go back to the first person so it was a little bit of back and forth and I would have preferred a narrow down list so that you have all of the suspects and once you know that one is not a suspect you just cross it and you go to the next one if one of the suspects says something that could be accusing someone else just look more into it well into the suspect that said that than the other person because i feel like if the suspect says something incriminating about someone else maybe they're just trying to get away from the problem that's what i'm saying personal opinion 850 pages was too long for me i almost gave up almost because i really wanted to know the end result i wanted to know who killed her and killed luther so i, I wanted to know 
but it could have been done in like a 600 pages book, I'm pretty sure. Because the ending, Chief Pratt and Travis Dawn, we discover them as killers and there's like a 100 pages left of the book, so I don't think a hundred was necessary. I think you could have wrapped it up in like a 50 pages wrap up to just end it because there's some kind of continuation about what happens after everything and it was too long for me. So that was it for this video guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Uh, tell me down below if you have read The Affair on Harry Carver and if you're going to read it and if you read it, what did you think of it? I would really like to know and yeah, I will see you soon with a new video. De la tierra morena tiene lindo, lindo bien en bajar. Un par de ojitos negros, lindo, lindo de contrabando.